Ladies and gentlemen, I am to have the privilege of presenting to you each week the introductory foreword of the Lone Defender, the star of which is a dog, probably the most famous dog in all the world, Rin Tin Tin. No doubt most of you are familiar with Rin Tin Tin's history, how during the Great World War he carried dispatches through the firing line risking his life daily in order that he might do his bit for his country. Not all dogs could be as famous as Rin Tin Tin, but then every dog owner believes that his dog is just as brave, just as faithful, and just as loving. And so, ladies and gentlemen, we take pleasure in dedicating this picture to man's noblest friend, his dog. And now for the first chapter of our story, the mystery of the desert. Everything ready, Bert? Yes, as soon as I tie these sacks on the burrow. Then we will go after I bid goodbye to Dolores. Partner, they might follow us into the desert again, so I'm taking no chances. In case something might happen to me, I've had the location of our gold mine engraved on the inside of this watch. You keep the watch, pal, there. Oh, thanks for the lunch, Miss Delory. I wish you wouldn't go, Father. I'm afraid. So many strange things have been happening here lately. And the cactus kid is in the neighborhood again. Now don't you start worrying about me. But those men I saw watching our house yesterday. I'm not afraid as long as Rinty is with me. Stay close to him, Father, won't you? Take good care of him, Rindy. Uh, Rindy will bring your father safely back from the desert, just as he has many times before. Goodbye, Daddy. Goodbye, darling. Goodbye. What luck, Jenkins? They've started for the mine, Hawkey. Going to be easier than we figured. Yeah? How's that? We won't have to follow them across the desert. 
Well, there's this kind of watch that shows the location of the mine. Once we get a hold of that mine, you men go with him. And don't come back without that watch. I'll meet you in the cantina. Don't worry. It'll be easy getting it away from those two old men. Say, but what about that dog? I'd rather fight a dozen men than tackle him. I'll find a way to take care of him. Get going. Come on. Hello, son. Where'd you get the dog? Found the dog out on the desert. More than me. Where did you see Mr. Valdez? Out at the Arctic Spring. Is there anybody else around there? No, sir. I'll take charge of this. Come 
Sheriff, we've been held up again. We will. I'll tell him at once. Get a hold of the head, would you, Jack? What's the trouble? All held up again with a cactus kid, too. I recognize his voice and almost saw his face. Yes, and he robbed me of a thousand dollars. All nice, new, hundred dollar bills. Where did this happen? Down by the forks, right there at Arsenic Spring. Arsenic Spring. The cactus kid, all right. He did both jobs. Sheriff, you must get him. I'll give everything I own to the man who catches the murder of my father. You get your horse, Tom. You too, Jim. We'll get together a posse and we'll pick up the trail. We'll get him, miss. Get that cactus kid. It's about time. When they do catch him, why they're going to string him up. What do you have, stranger? Uh, give me a little of that over there. Say, that cactus kid must be a pretty tough guy. I'd hate to meet him face to face. Hundred dollar bills. Well, the guy on the stagecoach lost some hundred dollar bills. Sometimes, my friend, it is better not to remember everything you hear and see. From now on, I'm deaf and dumb. Ah, that is good. You keep the change. Oh. 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 
Senor, I do not think you will fight the dog anymore. That dog's vicious. Uh, I think it is better the small boy have the dog. Yeah? Well, who are you? It makes no difference. But I do not like to see small boy or dog abused by big man. He attacked me for no reason at all. Ah, maybe. Sometimes the dog is very smart. Come on, boy. Where are you going? I'm going to plug that dog. You fool! He was the blind man's eyes for years. He's the only one that knows the location of the mine. We've got to get him. Go get Valdez, the cactus kid stole your dog. Harky says he's worth a million dollars. I'll take the shortcut.
at this theater, you saw the star, Rin Tin Tin, risk his life to save his friend, Valdez. Valdez possesses a watch which contains a description of his secret gold mine, and before dying, instructs Buzz, the boy who tried in vain to save him, to take the watch to his daughter, Dolores. The watch is stolen from the sheriff's office by one who leaves a description of a notorious bandit, the Cactus Kid. Amos Harkey, owner of the cantina, seeks to steal the mine from Dolores. Knowing that Rinty can lead him to the mine, Amos tries to capture Rinty. Raymond, a mysterious figure, who is suspected of being the Cactus Kid, interferes and escapes with Buzz and Rinty. They are pursued and set upon by Hockey's men. Rinty, escaping, comes upon a wolf attacking a colt and springs at him. As he is fighting for his life, and Raymond is being overpowered by Hockey's agents, Dolores suddenly finds herself in the path of a stampeding herd of wild horses. And now, for chapter two, The Fugitive. That killer now. Hey, boy, tackle him. Okay. Just a minute, 
my flat. You try to shoot my dog. He's still in our stuff. Did you see him do the killing? No, but we saw him at the body of that coat. Why, this dog was with me and this boy until a few minutes ago. That's right. Don't argue with him. Let's shoot him. It's a lot of the rain. Please, don't let them shoot, Randy. I reckon we put him at the sheriff handle this boy. Ah, uh, pardon, senor. But I do not like courtroom. So it is up to you to see that the dog get a square deal. All right, let's get going. Do not touch that man. Fear him as you would the cactus kid. You'd better stay here.
for nothing. You've done so much for me, yet I don't even know your name. I have been glad to serve you, Senorita. As for my name, I have been given many strange ones. But Ramon is the one I keep for my friend. Guard well this watch, Senorita. Many seem to want it. Adios, senorita. Till we meet again. I wonder who he is. I don't know, but he's sure a regular guy. Now it'll be safe. They've got that dog down to chest office. It's been killing all the stock. They're going to give him a trial. Which dog? Why, the Valdez dog. Yes? Come on, fellas, let's go. Now that we've lost the watch, the dog is our only hope. No matter what happens at the trial, get the dog. Right. Well, now, just how sure are you about all this? Sure. We rode upon him just as chewing this cold up. He's a killer, Sheriff, and it's up to you to do your duty. Get 
protect your dog, Buzz. Be afraid. I'm trying to help you. If that watch falls in the wrong hand, your father's gold mine is lost forever. What has this watch to do with my father's gold mine? Everything.
Last week at this theatre, you saw Laurie Valdez cornered by her enemies who sought to rob her of a gold mine which she inherited from her father. Rin Tin Tin, the only living creature who knows the location of the mine, has been condemned to death by the sheriff for killing cattle. Amos Harkey, the leader of Delores' enemies, protects Rinty from the sheriff's men because he figures that he can use the dog to find the mine. Raymond, a mysterious character, suspected of being the cactus kid, opposes Harkey's plan. And Harkey, failing to capture the dog, attempts to rob Delores of a watch, also sought by Limpy, because it contains a clue to the mine's location. Delores, attacked by Harkey's agent, seeks refuge in a powder house, which is accidentally fired by an overturned lamp. And here she is trapped, facing certain death, while Raymond is cornered by the sheriff's men. Rin Tin Tin races to her rescue. Disappeared right around here, boys. Spread out so he can't get away. Find him and you'll find the dog. Glad you are safe. They took the watch and locked me in the powder house. It was on fire, but Rinty saved me. Help! Help! What's the matter, Rinty, huh? come here with him? No, I didn't see him. Ah, then something's happened to the boy. And the dog is trying to take us. You stay here, I'll go see. All right, Richard, then.
Can't say we bungled this time. Well, I should say not. Come on, Hump. You're going to town. This must be the starting point. These lines lead direct to the mine. Now, if we could find this point. Yeah. If we had the dog, he'd lead us right to the spot. Good work, boys. Now we can start for the mine. <coughs> I'd like to plug him after we find the mine. But don't forget. He's supposed to be a killer, and you can't get him out of town without some ratchet shooting him. I'll find some way. Say, Chief, how about that wild dog over at the sideshow? Maybe we could swap. That's the only good idea you've had since we got to town. Let's try it. Let's see. <laughs> Well, it's about time you're getting here with those drinks. Well, here's to the mind that'll make us rich. That ferocious wild dog from Alaska, an animal that hates every other living creature and fears not to attack human beings. Arm or unarm. There he is now, that wily, burning dog from Alaska. He's in there alive. Ten cents. Everybody goes now. Ten cents. Pass right on inside. Everybody goes now. Ten cents. He's in there alive. That man-eating dog from Alaska. In there alive. Hey, just how wild is that dog? Well, it's suicide for anybody to go in that cage with him, armed or unarmed. Do you want to make a deal? What kind of a deal? For your wild dog. I'll talk business. Let's see. Come on inside. Get 
going now. All right, boys. Move it around here. Now, be prepared to shut the door the minute we let him out. the dog that he's looking for. We've got him locked up in a room, and for him to come over and shoot him. Say, are you going to let him shoot Rizzy? No, the wild dog. That's what we've got him for. He'll never be able to tell the difference in a darkened room. Oh, I see. Then we can use Rennie to find the mine. Why, sure. Get busy. Come on, boys. Let's take this cage out of here. Rindy! What's the matter, Rindy? Don't you know me? Last week at this theater, you saw the wonder dog, Rin Tin Tin, captured by men who believed he could lead them to a secret gold mine belonging to his mistress, Dolores Valdez. Ever since she inherited the mine, Dolores has been beset 
by enemies, especially by agents of Amos Harkey, who has stolen an old watch and found in it a clue to the location of the mine. A queer character, known as Limpy, steals the watch from Harkey, and Harkey, knowing that Rinty can lead him to the mine, captures the dog. The sheriff, however, has condemned Rinty to death for killing cattle, and in order to end the search, Harkey secures a wild dog from a traveling show, intending that the sheriff shall kill him instead. Raymond, a friend of Delores, not knowing of the substitution, comes to the rescue, but finds himself facing the wild dog who attacks him. As he is fighting for his life, Delores and Buzz at the Valdez Ranch are threatened by a sinister shadow. And now for episode four, Trap. Scream. If things don't stop happening around here soon, I'll be afraid of my own shadow. Put that thing away. Remember, that's what they're after. Wild dog has killed Rinty. <laughs> That's the first break I've had in years. That goes to take the kid with Rinty. This is a wild dog. I got him. Capture the dog, and we'll start for the mine. You captured the dog that killed that colt. Where is he? He's in the back room upstairs. He attacked one of my men and I shot him. I'll take charge of him. You stay in town and keep your eyes open. So.
I've been hearing strange sounds all week, but I can't locate them. Come on. It sounded like it was in here. There's no one in here now. Agariti, they are after him. Hiding back there. Do, Red. Go to the outside. Oh. Pardon me, Mr. Aldez. I'm looking for a dog. I mean, uh, desperate outlaw. You haven't seen him, have you? I see no one but that little boy. Strange, I pursued him almost to your door. It's very strange, isn't it? But I'm sure you must be mistaken. Perhaps, but I hardly think so. Do you mind if I look around a bit? Oh, it's for your own safety, I assure you. Why, of course, of course. Thank you.
Saunders, are you sure you haven't seen the criminal? I am positive. But if I told you there was a reward on his head, would you still deny having seen him? Yes. Suppose I told you that he is the Cactus Kid. It makes no difference. I have seen no one. If I told you that you are shielding the murder of your father, And you, you know who killed my father? I only know the man who murdered your father left in a deserted cabin, a sombrero with a bullet hole in it. There it is. Do you object if I search the grounds? Don't believe him, Miss Valdez. not a price on your head, is there? Oh, my head. It is worthless. You're not the cactus kid, are you? Many have called me that. Then you are? And this is yours. It is. Then it's true. You're the cactus kid and the murder of my father. Call them back! Oh, do you believe that if I had killed your father, that Rinty would trust me? Ah, oh, no. The dog knows. He was always with your father and never left his side. We have only to wait. And through him, we will find the guilty man. Look around down there. Give me that car. Now I am going to talk a language that you understand. Tell me where that dog is. Uh, 
on now. If you're going to tell me, I'll give you three counts. One, two, are you going to tell? I don't know where he is. Three. Last week at this theater, you saw the star, Rin Tin Tin, risk his life to save his friend, Raymond, from attack by a savage dog. The two become devoted friends when Raymond saved Rinty from the sheriff, who had condemned the dog to death on a false charge of killing cattle. Amos Harkey, who is plotting by every means to steal a secret gold mine from Dolores Valdez, knows that there are two clues to the location of the mine. One is an old watch, which Dolores' father bequeathed to her. And the other is Rinty, who was with her father when he struck gold. Harkey tries to capture Rinty, but is outwitted. Raymond, wounded by Harkey's men, is aided by Dolores, who hides him in the tunnel under her home. And now, for episode five. The Circle of Death. Look around down there. Give me that gun. Now I am going to talk a language that you understand. Tell me where that dog is. give you three counts. One, two, are you going to tell? I don't know where he is. Three, This kid refused to talk. He knows the dog's here. See if you can get to him.
do as I say. Pretend to believe everything Harky tells you and keep close to it. It's your only chance now. Here. All right. Follow me. I'll show you where the dog is. Did you find him? No. Look at these rocks. They show signs of color. Maybe the gold that we're looking for is here in these tunnels. If we only had that dog. Sorry I couldn't reach you when you called for help. Come upstairs with me. It's dangerous here. Boys, continue your search for the cactus kid. another night in this house. But where can I go? You're welcome to use my house at the edge of town. It's in charge of the servants. Valdez, but I think this watch belonged to your father. Where did you find it? Well, I saw two men enter my cabin, and I crept up and listened. What did you hear? Why, they were talking about a mine. Yes? And they were going to use this watch to find it. How did you get it? Well, when they turned their backs, I reached through the window and took the watch. Did you see anything of a dog? Yes, Rinty was in the cabin with them. Kids at this man's cabin. Capture it. Also get the dog from this uh, Valdez. Come on, boys. I'll show you where they are. Stop by the cabin on the way to my house. I'll be ready in a minute. I want to call Maria.
Sounds like some trouble. I guess they'll be needing us. I guess that ends the Cactus Kid's career. about Mr. Lawrence. I'm going back and see if she is all right. You stay here and take care of Rinty. All right. I'll meet you at the Five Oaks. Why not? Come on, Rinty. You'll have to stay here. You'll be in the way this time. Killer. The real one was seen going into this cabin not over a half hour ago. Well, he isn't there now. I was sure I got the right one. Well, he can't be far away. We'll see that he doesn't get away this time. Shoot to kill, boys. Come on. you to get that dog.
Last week at this theater, you saw Rin Tin Tin rescue his friend, Raymond, from the hands of his enemies who had him trapped in an underground chamber. Raymond, a mysterious character, who is suspected of being the notorious bandit, the Cactus Kid, has repeatedly aided Dolores Valdez, Rinty's mistress, against the enemies that have beset her ever since she inherited the gold mine from her father. Amos Harkey warns Dolores that Raymond is a false friend, and she pretends to believe him because Limpy, a queer character, has advised her to listen to Harkey so that she may learn his plan. Harkey finds gold nuggets in the tunnel under the Valdez home, and believing he has found the secret gold mine, determines to search further. To this end, he warns Dolores that it is, it is unsafe for her to remain in her home alone, and persuades her to go to his house. Raymond is almost captured by the sheriff's posse when he is cornered in a sheep herder's hut. But Rin Tin Tin carries him a warning message just in time. In so doing, Rinty is surrounded by the men who have condemned him to death for cattle killing. And now for episode six. Surrounded by the law. You so you won't kill any more stuff. Hold on, don't let him get away. Get your horses. Hurry, those boys. Kind of untidy around here, but most of my men are at the back rank. Things are a little upset. I've hardly had time to prepare for your arrival. I'll be back in just a minute. Make yourselves at home. This is a terrible place. We'll be all right.
You stay here. All right. Oh, I'm so glad you found him. I was just in time, miss. The ranchers almost had him. Good work, my boy. Better let me take the dog. I'll see they don't get him from you. All right. But be very careful. I don't think they'll ever give up their search. I'll put him in a place where they won't find him. Come on, Reggie. Come on. Gee, miss. You should listen. has taken Dolores to his home. Buzz. Get a move on you, fella. Tie him up. We're in a hurry to go. I'd like to finish. <laughs> Don't let him get at me. Put a muscle on him. He makes Jenkins nervous. Yeah? You'd be nervous, too. I believe that dog knows. Ah, you're getting yellow. Sheriff, in the pot. 
you were outside. Surround the place so he can't get away. We want him alive. He knows where the dog is. Okay, the cactus kid's around here somewhere, and we want him. One on me. I'll help you find him. Who's in there? Some of my men playing cards. to disturb your game, boys. But the sheriff says the cactus kid's around, and we're looking for him. I haven't seen a soul. Senorita, every moment you remain in this house is dangerous. The man that brought you here is your enemy. Mr. Hockey is protecting me while you're trying to steal my father's gold mine. I have risked capture to try to help you. I want you to leave this place at once. I don't believe you. Everything you say is a lie. You're the cactus kid, and I'm going to tell the sheriff. Oh, but you must listen. I love you. Love you. Won't you try to understand? I can tell you who I am now. But all I ask is for you to give me a little time. And I promise to expose your father's murderer. Right in here, sir. Open the door in the name of the law. Won't you please trust me just a little longer? Please. Take care of this for me, will you? Oh, thank you. Open this door in the name of the law. You will watch down below. He may try to go out some other way. I heard someone else in here with you. You may look for yourself.
There he is, boy. Something's wrong up there. Come on, let's look. Last week at this theatre, you saw Rin Tin Tin, the wonder dog, feign death to save himself from the ranchers, who had vowed to shoot him as a cattle killer. Buzz, his young friend, helped him to escape, and Rinty has returned to guard his beloved mistress, Dolores Valdez. Amos Hawkey, plotting to rob Dolores of her gold mine, has taken the girl into his home and intends to imprison her there. Raymond, a mysterious figure, suspected of being the notorious bandit, the Cactus Kid, is pursued by the Sheriff's Posse. At the risk of his life, he warns Dolores against Harkey and tells her of his love. Raymond is discovered at Harkey's home by the Sheriff's men and is forced to the roof, leaps for his life to escape the bullets of his pursuers, while Dolores struggles to prevent one of Harkey's cutthroats from stealing her father's watch which shows the location of the mine. And now, for episode seven, the ghost speaks. You've no right to it, it's mine. Well, I'll take care of it. Do it. Come up, you. Out of the way. Keep out of the way. 
Now that we've got the watch, and the sheriff's after the cactus kid, it's safe for us to leave with the dog. I'm sorry this has happened. You better go in the house and rest. Away. We've got to get out of here now. Look! Harky is on the way to your hacienda. Follow him, a friend. We'll find out where we are.
This must be the place, boys. Get busy. Down in our digging and Richie's with them. Quiet, men. Someone upstairs. I'm surprised to see you, Miss Dolores. What are your men doing down there? The sheriff discovered Rinty, and I thought under the floor would be a good place to hide him. Why, thank you, Mr. Hockey. I'd better see what this man wants. Gee, miss, how'd you quit believing everything that guy says? Don't worry, bud. I'm wide awake. Too. I was tight, too tight, I couldn't move. Who wants it? I saw somebody going over the hill and it looked like the cactus kid. Hmm. Cactus kid, huh? all things up. I've got to get rid of that girl. What's the matter with you? Look. Look. At that window. Alive. Well, there's nobody there. What's the matter with you? The nerves have got the best of you, that's all. No, no, I tell you. I saw him. I saw him right at that window. Dolores. Gold. What happened to father? Father? I tell you, I saw him. Oh, I don't know anything about that. Where did that girl and kid go? I'll find them. Where did that girl and kid go? What are you talking about? Didn't they come down here? No. They were upstairs a minute ago, but they're gone now.
Right. Where's Rinty? Well, I saw the ranchers coming to kill him, so I cut him loose. He headed for the Valdez Hacienda. Ah. Well, come on, we go get him. Well, then. We got plenty of gold. You need tools to dig with, dynamite to blast with. Hold on. Oh. He's lost his mind. I'll show you the gold that belongs to me and my partner. back there. The end of our search must be near. The dog knows where their gold is. find the gold, you ride back to the recorder's office and file a claim in my name. Okay. I can't read. It's voice. How do we get out of here? Follow me and we'll get the gold. Last week at this theater, you saw Raymond make a sensational escape from the sheriff Posse, who suspected him of being the Cactus Kid, a notorious bandit. Raymond has been cornered while attempting to warn his sweetheart, Dolores Valdez, against the supposed friend in whose house she is staying. Pretending to protect her from mysterious enemies, Amos Harkey imprisons Dolores and goes to search the cellar of her home for hidden gold. 
At Delores' home, a mysterious old man spies on Harkey's men from a secret panel. His presence alarms the gang, especially a man named Jenkins, who for some reason or other fears both the old man and Rin Tin Tin and determines to kill them. Delores and her young friend, Buzz, make their escape and come upon Harkey's men searching her home. She also sees the old man and recognizes him. Jenkins, determined to do away with the mysterious old man, fills the tunnels with poison gas. Dolores, Buzz, and the old man are overcome by the deadly fumes, while Raymond rides madly to the rescue. And now for episode eight, The Brink of Destruction. Burning back there. Look at me. Don't you know me? I'm your brother. Gold. My gold. That's it. Where is your gold? Where is Valdez? Where is your gold mine? What did you do to Valdez? Take me to the mine, and I will help you. Uh, you've got to take me to the mine. You've got to give me that. I don't know where it is. Where is your 
before we did. I wonder where he could have gone. Why, that's Jacob. <laughs> There's Rennie. There is no one here. I'm sure I heard someone call. I'll find out what he knows. Now, Mr. Burke, I am your friend and I want to help you. You remember this watch? Yes. It belonged to your partner, Valdez. It tells you how to get to the mine, doesn't it? Yes, I know. Will you show us where it is? Gold. In the hills. In the hills? Isn't it here, under this house? In the hills. And will you take us to it? Sure.
is in there. Come out, or I'll shoot through the door. Over there. do not seem to like you. Perhaps he have a good reason, huh? Dog's mad. I never did anything to him. Perhaps not to him, but to someone he loves. What do you mean? I mean my father. I never killed Valdez. Ah, uh, the dog's action and your own denial convict you. You are the guilty man. This true? I didn't kill him, Harky. I tell you, I didn't. I'm not what that you are. Know. Know. It look like an accident. Goodbye, Mr. Cactus Kid.
Last week at this theater, you saw the wonder dog, Rin Tin Tin, try to kill a man against whom he held a mysterious grudge. The dog's hatred is returned in full by the man Jenkins, who on several occasions would have killed Rinty, but for the interventions of Amos Harkey, who knows that the dog can lead him to the lost gold mine. The rightful owner of the gold mine is Dolores Valdez, whose father was murdered on the desert by persons unknown. The dog's actions point to Jenkins as the murderer. Raymond, himself suspected of being the notorious bandit known as the Cactus Kid, accused Jenkins of a crime. His young friend, Buzz, disarms Hockey and his gang while Raymond keeps them covered. But the tables are turned and Raymond is captured. Dolores and Buzz are locked in a closet to prevent them interfering. Raymond, bound and gagged, is placed in a wagon, which is then rolled downhill and over a cliff. And now for episode nine, the avalanche. I've got an idea. Good old boy. You are always there when a man need a friend. Ah, you good fellow, you, huh? Let's go home, huh? Come on, Rindy, let's go. I wonder where they could have gone. Maybe they're out in front. Oh, fine bark, you understand? Fine bark.
killing. I'm afraid that the... Afraid my eye. That guy Harky's a crook. He's he found a trail to her father's mine, and he's on the way to steal it. Jim Harky? <coughs> well, there must be some mistake. It's true. Isn't there some way to stop him? Stop him? I'll slap him in jail so quick it'll make his head swing. The exact location of the mine is unknown, but I know it's somewhere in Indian Gulf. Well, there ain't five square miles of territory in that whole canyon. He won't be hard to find. Come on, sure, before that guy steals the whole dog. of yours. We're here to help you. No. Follow me. not as cuckoo as he looks. You're right. That mine is back there under the Valdez house. Maybe so. Wait a minute. Who's that? That's the cactus kid and the dog. How did they get out? You wouldn't let me plug them before. I'll do it now. Wait a minute. Perhaps the mine is here. And the dog is leading him to it. Let's watch. right up. Good old boy, Renty.
Existe place for Indy. Oh, you are a very clever fellow, you. The dog led him to the real mine. It's that girl. She's got the sheriff with her. We've got to do something quick. You stay and keep a lookout. We'll go over and stop them from getting here. How do you call it? Well, you pull it. What are you doing here? Miss Valdez tells me you're after her father's mine. Well, that may look like that to her, but I'm here to protect my own interests. Your interests? Maybe you don't know it, but I grubstaked your father. You grubstaked my father? Yes. There's the agreement. I'm entitled to one half of everything that he discovered. But it's of no value to me now. There's the mine, and it's worthless. I don't believe a word you say, Mr. Harkey. Neither do I. Go look for yourself. Find everything just as I told you. They'll learn there's nothing there and give up the search. I think they're coming out. I'll hurry to the recorder's office and register to the mine. You stall them here until I get a good start. I'm sorry, miss, but Harkey was right. There's nothing here. We will find out what's here, huh? Ah, boy! This is the real stuff! Ah, Mr. Lorris is a rich girl. And she owes it all to you, old fellow. Huh? Maybe we find some more, huh? Come on, let's look. They want my gold. I'll fix them so they won't get it.
last week at this theater, you saw Rin Tin Tin again risk his life by leaping into a runaway wagon to save his friend, Raymond, from a desperate gang of gold pirates. Raymond is trying to prevent Amos Harkey, the leader of the gang, from robbing his sweetheart, Dolores Valdez, of a mine which she has inherited from her father. Her father's former partner, a man named Burke, supposedly lost on the desert, returns and Harkey persuades Burke to lead him to the mine. Raymond, with the aid of Rin Tin Tin, trails them. Dolores and Buzz have summoned the sheriff and they also arrive at the mine. Knowing that the claim has not been filed, Harkey races for the recorder's office, leaving his men to prevent the others from following. Burke, the madman, starts a landslide which rushes down on Dolores Buzz and the sheriff, while inside the mine, Limpy, with a long knife, is stealing up behind Raymond. And now for episode 10, Fury of the Desert. Nothing can stop Harkey from recording the mine now. And she owes it all to you, old fellow, you pet. Come on, let's see if we find some more here. I fooled him. I fooled him. All my gold is safe. That's Burke. If his memory clears, he can tell enough to hang us. We'll fix him. an opening up there. His horse is gone. That's funny. Those rocks didn't start slipping by themselves. I wonder. I don't have to wonder. That wasn't an accident. Look at those tracks. Let's follow them. They may lead to something. Fellas, sneak up behind him. I'll go around the other ledge. Help! 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 
The dog's the only one we have to fear now. our tracks. They'll ever find the answers that real mine. It's cold. Here's where they separated. You follow those tracks, and I'll follow these. Dad's mine, haven't you? in here. This must be the place. You and my father's mind? Ah, but you don't understand. I'm trying to understand, but your actions seem so strange. Ah, but the senorita, please. I'm working for you, and you alone. I cannot explain now, but do not betray me, please, for your own sake. You found the gold? Yes, Rinty did. Is this mine recorded? No. Well, then it's anybody's property. Now I know where Archie's gone. He's on his way to file this claim. Your only hope is to beat him to the recorder's office. Better hurry back to town, miss. I'd go with you, but I got to get this man. All right. Hockey told us to. Keep him here. Let's hit him off. Here, I'll help you. Brother, I remember all now. Take me.
Last week at this theater, you saw a sensational race across the desert through a blinding sandstorm to gain a fortune. The prize is a rich gold mine which Dolores Valdez inherited from her father, who was murdered by an unknown person. Leading in the race to file a claim at the recorder's office is Amos Harkey, who intends to rob Dolores of her fortune if he can. Close behind him is Raymond, who is thought to be the notorious bandit, the Cactus Kid. The sheriff, out to capture Raymond, is close upon his heels, jeopardizing his chances of saving the mine for Dolores, who with her young friend, Buzz, is also somewhere amid the raging sea of sand, piloted by that wonder dog, Rin Tin Tin. Behind or ahead of them, who can tell, are Harkey's accomplices, aiming to sidetrack any or all contestants who may interfere with their leader. And in the recorder's office, someone files a legal claim on Delores' mind. And now for episode 11, Corner. Some of that bell. They come that bell. There's this girl. She's sure right, isn't she?
She knows about the mine. Too late. I've registered it. We're all in on it, ain't we? Sure. Yeah. I'm going to buy the horse I've been wanting. Yeah, and I'm going to get that red shirt. <laughs> I want to record a claim. All right. What's the Border Patrol doing, Sheriff? You think they're off to get the Cactus Kid? Eh, maybe. Hello? Any luck? Yeah, mostly bad. Cheer up, old timer. Got some good news for you. Take a look at this. What is this? That's wrappings from a valuable package taken to the last stage holder. What about it? See those fingerprints? Yes. I just got it back from the federal office. Gone through their files and traced the fingerprint. Have they got a picture of the man? It'll be in on the next stagecoach. When we get a look at that picture, it'll be a cinch to capture the cactus kid. Well, can I keep these fingerprints until the picture comes in on the stagecoach? Why, yes. on the stagecoach this afternoon. You don't mean it. I sure do. Well, I hope they get them this time. Hey, Chief. The Border Patrol's here after the cat that's kid. That's all. They say there's a picture of him coming on the stagecoach. Yeah. Let's see what's going to happen.
thought maybe you'd be interested in that paper. Maybe I am. Look, they've got to kick this kid. Well, we ought to take him, boys, before he gets to in that sheriff again. Sure, tricky guy. Let's get him away from the sheriff. He's a tricky guy, that Get a rope and string him up. That's what I say. Come on. Let's get a rope. We ought to string this guy up. Come on, man. Let's go. Come on, boys. Let's get him. Say, somebody got a rope. Let's string him up. Come on, fellas. Come on. Let's get this barber going. What's that doing? Well, they'll, they'll just get him in there and stall around a while. They will never do anything. Uh, Up there. Shoot the police man that tried to go through that door. Yeah? Well, there's no use holding us off. We'll get him one way or another. You boys keep him back. Let's take him out the back door to the county seat. Mind yours, Mr. Valdez. Why, you don't know what you're talking about. I sure do. Bernie and I was at the office first and recorded that claim. That claim's recorded in Harky's name. I saw it myself. That guy Harky's up to some more of his tricks. I was there first and I know it. There goes that killer now. This kid got away from the sheriff by jumping through the back window. We should have lynched him when we had him.
disappeared right around here, boys. Spread out so we can't get away. isn't coming. Well, you can bet all you've got that he'll stop the stagecoach to get his picture. It's a good thing we spread the report that it's coming in on today's mail. out, man. If it's going to happen, it'll be right down there near the fort. been killing all our stock, and that dog's been risking his life to protect us. Take a shot at that wolf for fear of hitting the dog. Uh, you don't need to. The dog has got him. See? Yeah, they have, I guess. 
Good work, old boy. That was a dandy fight. We thought he was a killer. Uh, we'll take the dog back to Miss Valdez and tell the sheriff he's innocent. Okay, let's get out of here with him. Come on, Randy. Last week at this theater, you saw the mysterious bandit, the Cactus Kid, walk into a trap set for him by the Border Patrol. He has been led to believe that a photograph of his fingerprints is coming on the next stage. Acting upon this false lure, the Border Patrol intend to capture him when he stops the stage to remove the incriminating photograph. Dolores Valdez fears that the trap may close in upon Raymond who has tried in vain to save her gold mine. He attempts to secure a paper from the sheriff's desk and is captured, but again escapes. Rinty, the wonder dog, who was with Dolores' father when he found the mine, possesses a strange hatred for Jenkins, a member of Harkey's band. The dog disappears, and his loss is mourned by Dolores, who believes he knows who killed her father. Meantime, the Border Patrol are ready to capture the Cactus Kid. And as they lie in waiting, this mysterious bandit stops the stage and they close in upon him. And now for episode 12, Vindicated. been killing all our stock, and that dog's been risking his life to protect us.
afraid to take a shot at that wolf for fear of hitting the dog. Uh, you don't need to. The dog has got him. See? Yeah, I guess. Good work, old boy. That was a dandy fight. We thought he was a killer. Uh, we'll take the dog back to Miss Valdez and tell the sheriff he's innocent. Okay, let's get out of here with him. Come on, Randy. Did you find the cactus kid? No, but we chased him all the way to town. I think I'm in the cantina there. Yeah. Hey, boys, go inside and look around. All right, let's go, Ed. Chase me in, boys. Game's too slow for me. We'll see you later. father out on the desert. Desert. That's it. Big sandstorm.
Three men on horseback. Yes. Rindy. Followed after one of them. That's the one. Who was that? Would you know him again if you saw him? Yes. Why, Rinty? Rinty, he knows. Amato der. I remember now. He was the leader of the men who attacked us on the desert. He killed Valdez. I couldn't help it. I didn't want to do it. He made me do it. I was in the power of...
Cactus kid. Good work, Roberto. I was afraid he'd get away from you. Roberto? Who are you anyway? Maybe a poor vaquero. Maybe a bad man. But not the cactus kid. Come on. Yeah, uh, you're coming along too. Then you're not Raymond. Not Raymond, the unknown. But Marco Roberto of the United States Department of Justice. But I still don't see how you found the cactus kid. <laughs> I didn't. Rinty told me. When he made these constant attacks upon Jenkins, I knew that he was the murderer of your father, but I couldn't act until I'd connected Jenkins with the Cactus Kid. And my assistant here gave me the clue. Your assistant? You never told me that. I didn't dare. But Buzz has been working with me for over two years and has never failed. Have you, Buzz? Oh, I didn't do nothing. And here is the missing page from the record book that restores the mind to you. I took it from the clothes that Harkey wore when he held up the stage. Buzz was really the winner of the race to the recorder's office, but Harkey tried to destroy the registration. Then it's to you I should be grateful for saving my gold mine. Oh, gee, man. He wants it worse than I do. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.